Okay, so today we're gonna to be installing this new Simpson & Partners charger. It's the first time I've actually ever seen one, let alone install one. So I'm gonna do it blind, basically, and just tell you my brutally honest opinion of it. Right, so behind this hatch in the annex living room, that's the incomer to the annex. What we're gonna be doing is taking out this fuse that feeds the consumer unit, and we'll put in a new fuse board with surge protection and a breaker replacing this. Might have to put a galve box, gland in, and then cables up to our fuse board. If we drop this light down, there's a little loft space above here. And if we can get through to the fuse board, we can just run all the way along that little loft space through all the lights, and then that will join up with the loft space that's in the front entrance. Oh, they painted in, of course they are. We've come up here and had a look. There's a tray that's already been installed and it's got a load of cabling on it. Um, and that actually feeds into the board there and then it just runs along here and goes straight into that loft compartment which we're trying to get into. So I think that will probably be the better option because that will save us taking down all those down lights, etc., and trying to feed it through that loft space. Have you got rods? Oh, you got yours. Right, is this gonna get through? How far has it got to go, do you reckon? I mean, I'm hitting stud work. Do it again. Could you not get through that little hole above the nah, door? Nice, like the cables will bend like an S. Might just be easier to run through the lights. Oh yeah, but they've been siliconed in. God, that's a bit naughty where they've put that bolt through. I know, so I close to the buzz yeah. bar. I know, I know it's got a cover, but you take that cover off if that touches that. Yeah, this is right in the eve of the loft space up there. I see you, bro. Try direct it down a bit if you can. You're hitting the top. So basically, he's at the hole and he wants to go like that, and he's gone like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on, keep going straight. You're so close. I need another rod, wait there. If I could be bothered to Indiana Jones it and go through them cobwebs, I could grab it, but... Can you not reach it at all? No, you have to be like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> pull mine back, so it might be the There it is. Time. I got you. Just don't pull my end through now. Did he say don't pull it through? Yeah. I definitely pulled it through. This rod here is the one that Lee's managed to catch the other end of it up there. Um, so we've got it to here. Now we just need to get it literally from this, where this downlight is, to the board here. And hopefully we should just be able to fish across from there to there. Even though it's a short distance, you never know what could happen. All right, so while Luke's just accessing a route through to the loft for the cable, I'm gonna make a start on this, so I'm gonna turn all the power off, remove this enclosure. I think I'm gonna remove the trunking as well. A galvanized box there with the armored into it, and then we'll come up and we'll go into our fuse board with the tails out and into the meter. Go on, <laughs> you can do this. What are you saying? You come do this and I'll come no, do No, no, you're fine, you put your posts up. I'll, I'll put that cable 300 mil across to that light fit. This one's, no, I'm, I'm literally oh, putting that parallel and just trying to hit Do the rod. get that one to go straight? So I'm just trying one. to, so I can hit the rod and then just lower this one down slowly. The money shot is on its way. Oh. It's got to be there. Oh yes. Oh, thank God for that. My job is done. Right, so we've just got it through. Obviously you just saw we pulled it, it's still on the drum, the cable. We've just got it through this end, pulled it through, and just gonna pull it through in sections basically. So I'm gonna take this off here now, attach it to this rod, and I'll go up in the loft while Lee's probably down here feeding it up and we'll just pull it through to the other section. I'll go into that loft, I'll pull it all the way down. Sorry, I've got a cool cut. You are right? <laughs> yeah, that's not a joke. Yeah, if you just feed that through and I'll pull it all yeah. the way through and I'll bring all the slack down the stairs just so I don't get caught up in there. And we'll just leave, just leave enough that we need on this yeah. side. Okay. Okay. One second. Okay. Do you say okay? Right, now all the slack I'll take down the stairs so I don't get caught up. Oh, 
Jeez. Hang on. I reckon we've got more than enough. All right, so this is all removed off the wall now. That armor down there's a spare. As suspected, they had a bonding clamp around the armor in, and they just had an earth going to the MET. We'll uh, just see what, what space we've got when we get all the materials out. I can drill right in that corner and try and poke the rod over. My life just got harder. There's a big bit of wood there. Oh, it's a dead mouse. Why? Everywhere I go. Wait, go back. <laughs> it's literally on the dead mouse. You got it? Yep. Oh, one sec. Yep. Sound like he just fell down the ladder. Oh, that, that'll do. Is that it? Yep. Look what I found yesterday. I've not tried it out yet. Max, do you want to come check it? I bought in a DVD because I found something sick. Is that the road one? Yeah, oh the man. I found something sick yesterday. No, I've only had this phone for like player. a year. No way. <laughs> Does it work? I don't know, I've not tried it yet, that's why I bought this one. That's not a DVD player, surely. Oh, it's it's DVD. 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 Oh, stop it. Can you get key to those? There's no way that's going to play. Oh, it's doing something. <gasps> oh, <laughs> stop. I mean... I mean, it's not much different from watching <laughs> on the phone, but... <laughs> All those hours we had to talk on long distances when we could just watch. Remember Tom and, Tom and Jerry? Huh? Remember Tom and Jerry? What did the old granny used to shout? Do you know? Come on. Thomas! Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> what did she say? Thomas. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting to make a bit of progress now. Galve box is now on the wall, glanded in the armoured properly. So what I'm gonna do, stick this Henley block inside there. I've also got an earth terminal, I'll stick down the bottom. And then I've got a tail stuffing gland here. So I'll run some 16 mil tails from the Henley block through. And what we'll do is stick this board up here. It should just look a lot better than what was here before. And it's obviously incorporating the surge protection to the rest of the property. So now I'm gonna start from the board end and start clipping it. We're just using the D lines with normal screws. I'm basically just gonna clip on this bit of timber here and then try and clip as much as we can down. Obviously the gap's quite small, so I can't crawl down there myself and clip it, but we'll clip it as much as we can close up to there and then yeah, I'll start putting a charger up on the outside of the wall. We also offer a great loft clearing service. Do some candy flasks. <laughs> I must have stuff in my hair. You're lying to me. I was planning to put a little earth terminal in the back from the armoured into that and then one from the board in but just to make things easier I don't really need that I can get rid of that take this fly lead off and I might as well just take the earth from the fuse board above straight onto a lug right I've just opened it up and took the front cover off because we fit quite a lot of different car chargers basically to take this, this main cover off you have these four screws which sit in here um, they're little Torx bits. Number one, I certainly don't have a Torx bit that size, neither does Lear anyone. You can use a small, small screwdriver, but I feel like they're just balanced in there. So if you fold them in, especially into gravel like this, you will never find them again. And I haven't seen any spare ones so far. So you've got to mount this part onto the wall. This is just a top case, but I've already noticed as well. I might be wrong here, but you can't actually take this off. So while you're mounting this onto the wall, this will be there dangling the whole time you're doing it um, you have rear entry there as well another little one i guess that's for data and you have exactly the same in the back 
uh, sorry, that was a bottom entry, not rear entry, and then rear entry at the back, and then one for the data, neutral earth, phase one, phase two, phase three, so phase one, neutral earth, looks fairly simple. Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight, one, three, four, quick maths. <laughs> got this to bring it down so we can either come along the top, come down here and loop in, or come down halfway, bring it across like that and loop in, or go down low level. And I think in this case, in most cases as well, I prefer to bring it down low level because it takes your eye off the cable being all on the wall. I think in this case, we'll bring it down, clip it on a low level down here, and then bring it up like that, which will probably look the best. nearly finished down this end so I'm just going to label this up that's all the way a bit neater than what was there before earthed properly with the proper glands and things so get this all finished up and then I'll go give Luke a hand get the cable tested to the car charger and start doing the paperwork So these are just things, observations I've noticed in sorting it, like I said, it's the first time and they're quite new. As with most chargers, you have the CT connection points. This is a normal screwdriver. Um, this is the smallest one I have and normally this fits every single other CT thing. But even on this, this is miles too big. And just out of chances, Lee had a Christmas cracker uh, screwdriver and this is perfect for it. But like I say, if, you, if I didn't have this, there's literally no way. I've tried using my Stanley blade to tighten it up, but like I say, this is just perfect and exactly the same right size you need. So if you're gonna install one of these, get one of these. That looks like it. I've never seen one of these before, but I was pretty impressed by it. All my pack out stuff slides around the van. So I used to use it like one of them little cheap ratchet straps that you just pull through and it's got the teeth that bite onto it and every time I opened the door, stuff would fall out. So I picked up this automatic uh, retractable ratchet strap from Sealy, I think. And basically, like you, you just use it like a tape measure, so thick. And then when you want to wind in, it's so much easier than wrapping old school ratchet straps. So things like 13 quid, I'll definitely recommend them. I think it's very fiddly. It's almost too fiddly, like too small. Like they don't go in fast, like now, look. Perfect example. <laughs> See, luckily, I've got one spare. But like I say, if you do that, you've just got no chance of finding it. Please tell me I haven't got push buttons on the inside to activate or sync something. Okay, I thought I'd just give a quick personal opinion of this charger. It looks amazing, it's a really good charger. I love how compact it is, how small it is. Um, it doesn't look out of place anywhere. I'm not sure whether, because of the size, that's why you have to sacrifice with like the internals and things like that, or that, that's why, but all the screws are just really, really small. Like I say, I don't know if you saw, but I actually dropped one, and they supply with one spare screw, but all four of them, I just had difficulty, just even with my hands, I haven't got the fattest hands, but even I found them difficult trying to get them into the slots and the one underneath. Um, the CT terminal, like I showed you, that's extra, extra small for some reason, and it's right on top. So you can't even get a bend on the CT cable to bring it in top, it literally has to go flat. But like I say, overall it's a lovely looking product, I'm sure it works really well, but I just think the screws and installer wise, they're quite hard and it is a bit fiddly and difficult. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.